Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Shady here, and I'm here with a video showing you on how to fully exploit your uh, Switch. So let's get started. So here's what you need. I'm going to show you. All right, so let's get started. So you're going to need Atmosphere, which is the name of the custom firmware. And you're going to need Cosmo. This is basically like everything that you need. It includes all the apps and everything. like all the homebrew apps, the homebrew store and all that. This is basically like all in one. But the reason why I have another tab called Atmosphere here is just in case I want it to be the latest version of Atmosphere. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a micro SD card and you're gonna need a vulnerable switch. Not every single switch is gonna work for this. Um the exploit is only works in the 2017 model. And I think a couple 2018 one worked out well. I'm gonna put a little website in the description. This is, here it is. I'm gonna put this in the description. So this is a way of checking to see if your switch is uh, patched or not. So you just put your serial number, and it'll let you know if it's been patched. Um, if it is patched, and the only way is trying to go on eBay or just fi finding the first model switch. I'll show you the differences. I'll just put everything in the description that you need to know. So yeah, once you have everything downloaded, just put them on your desktop. And yeah, so you're going to open up your SD card. I formatted mine, so mine should be empty. If you see a Nintendo folder, that's fine. So we're going to go to Cosmos. And for the first thing you want to do first is just put this on a desktop, because we're going to need that for later. So you, you want to just extract all these files and put them onto your S, um, root of your SD card here. Alrighty, so now we got those on there. So just to make sure, we want to make sure we're on the latest version of Atmosphere, because sometimes Cosmos, I don't know, it's like they might have like an outdated uh, Atmosphere. So just want to make sure you're on the latest version. So just put all these on a root. Now we'd have nothing to worry about. All right, so now you have everything that you need on your SD card. So you can just close out of that for now. And let's open up Tegra RCM. Uh, GUI and real quick just put the SD card into your switch alright and so you just wanna open up your payload just to get that ready now at this point I'm gonna show you some footage I'm gonna show you right now actually alright so what you wanna do now is take the right Joy-Con out like so and you wanna take your jig right here and you wanna put it on the right Joy-Con rail like so all right, so now what you want to do is hold down volume up and then power at the same time. And you should enter recovery mode just like that. All right, so now you want to inject the payload. And you're going to notice something happen on the switch. And there it is. So now you're all set. All right, so now what I want to show you, instead of using the jig and then the volume combos all the time, which can get annoying, you want to go to the thing that says auto RCM. So you want to just enable that. So now you don't need to use the jig no more or the volume up and power at the same time. You just it'll just when you completely turn your switch off. I forgot to mention. I don't know if you guys are aware. The um, exploit, the custom firmware goes completely away, which means you have to put the payload again. You have to inject it again. But so every time you turn the switch back on from like a like if your switch dies or whatever, it's gonna just be at a blank screen. That means you're in recovery mode, and all you would have to do is just inject the payload again, just like we did earlier. Or you can get one of these little devices which have the payload on it and you won't need a computer if you use this. This has the payload, you just put it on the bottom and boop, it'll automatically do everything for you. Like, it's probably better getting one of these, I recommend one. So, it's probably the best device. And you can put the jig right back and behind it. So that way it's together. But anyways, so um, you're gonna go to home again. So we're at the main screen here and you wanna go to launch. Custom front, whoops, gotta focus. Go to custom firmware, and it's gonna launch the atmosphere custom firmware like that. Oh, and you don't need this anymore. You can just put your Joy-Con back in, like so. There we go. Just want to show you a couple things here. I already have an app called Tinfoil, which is like a file browser. But yeah, if you click on the photo album on the bottom here, click, let's click on it once, it's going to boot you straight into the homebrew menu. 
So you can basically like I the homebrew app store is pretty cool. Like you can download like homebrew apps without a computer and all that. So it's pretty cool. But I just want to show you something in the settings real quick. If you go all the way down to system, just it'll say the system uh, version right now. It says 9.1.0, and then on a with a bracket it says atmosphere 0 0.10, which is you know it's the latest version of atmosphere. But that's basically how to fully exploit your switch. Basic, you know, run unsigned code. You can cheat in games. There's a lot of tutorials out there. I might make a couple of tutorials though in the future. But if you have any questions or if you're having trouble, just let me know. I would love to help you guys out. Just let me know in the comment section down below. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's been Shady and Deuces, guys. I'm out.